Hi, this is Irina Slutsky reporting for Geek Entertainment Television on location at the Microsoft Silicon Valley Conference Center on the eve of the Halo 3 launch where 300 developers are testing the game by playing it till their fingers bleed. tournament in the stench of burps, farts, body odor. I can smell the Polish hot dogs coming out through the sweat of these hard-working men here. And so you are one of these men and you've just made it. But, but to be clear, I'm not one of the ones who's farting. That's these guys behind us. <laughs> just burping and sweating. Yeah, just burping and sweating. Yeah. I'll, I'll cop to that. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Matt. And Matt, you just made it to the semi-final? I, I think so, yeah. We just won our second game, so I think we're into the semi-finals now. So, so tell me, what is, your, what is your greatest skill at Halo 3? Uh, well, my favorite Halo skill, I'm still learning Halo 3, but uh, in Halo 2, I used to always love to get the ghost and, and run over my opponents. That's my favorite thing to do. So if you see somebody getting a lot of splatter kills, that's me. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to bring that Is that like ghost in. ride the whip? Kind of, except you're not ghost. You're actually on the ghost. Okay. So it's not so much ghost riding the ghost as just riding the ghost. Okay. So, Fian, you uh, you were one of Matt's teammates. So, were you the one who was able to use the man cannon? No, I unfortunately was not. <laughs> I was pretty much meleeing people and sticking to the sniper rifle. Okay. So, what is your favorite part of the new version? It looks amazing. The levels are rebalanced. It's a lot of fun to play. It is. Hi, I'm here with Bill Adamek, and he is the leader of the Microsoft Silicon team. That's right. And can you tell us what? you made for Halo 3? Sure, well, my team designs the custom silicon in the Xbox 360. So the CPU, the graphics chip, a couple other chips, so it's really the heart of the box and it makes the game run. So you made all the things that Halo 3 does so well possible. Uh, well, Bungie had a little bit to do with it also, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. But the man cannon, tell me about the man cannon. The man cannon? The man cannon is one of the new features of Halo 3. It catapults a player across the multiplayer field. Oh, that man cannon. That man cannon. Yeah, well, you seem to know all about it. <laughs> I've been looking for a man cannon for a long time. <laughs> I think there's a few in the crowd here. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Jarrell Hartman. Jarrell. I, I work in the Xbox hardware group. And you make the hardware for Halo 3. We developed the hardware um, for the Xbox 360, Halo 3 runs on the Xbox 360. Did you make this button? Um, personally, I did not make that button. <laughs> Which button did you make? Um, I'm part of the uh, hardware group, so I actually work on the silicon, not necessarily the peripherals. Oh, I see. So what's a cute hardware guy like you doing in a software place like this? Well, Microsoft is a, also a hardware company at the time. They've been doing consumer electronics for the last few years. Um, they do the Zune, they do the Xbox 360, and a few other What's products. a Zune? The Zune is the MP3 player that uh, <laughs> Microsoft released this last fall. So what you're trying to say is, did you make this button? Like I said, I don't make the buttons, I make the hardware, the silicon for the chips. <laughs> Hi, I'm here with Jason Katzer, and he's uh, one of the first casualties of the game. Were you hurt when you were uh, using the man uh, cannon? Well, what happened is I tried to get into that crazy looking device that you can fly around, and this guy totally smashed right into me. I didn't even get his insurance information. I don't know, he was like about his height over there, about 5'10", 6 feet. Did you call the Halo police? Oh, definitely. They, uh, they didn't show up at all. I was yelling, game alert, game alert, and no one came over. No one came to help me whatsoever. Well, I hope, I hope you feel better, but that's quite, a, that's quite a, an injury. It's okay. They uh, took care of me over here at Vista. I only, I mean, at Microsoft, I had to wait for the Tuesday bug alert to come out, the Tuesday security patches, and I'm all good to go again. 